Hey y'all, it's Miss L Sims here. Welcome to my channel. And today we're going to be diving into the Caliente household. Before we dive into gameplay, I thought the perfect way to introduce the new and improved Caliente family is through Cass. So first and foremost, this is Katrina Caliente, AKA the mother to Dina and Nina Caliente. And she is a romantic family oriented jealous him who aspires to have a successful lineage. She is in her early forties. However, she does feel like she's still in her twenties. She is a widow and Nina and Dina and Mr. Don Lothario live with Katrina just so that they all can save money. Now don't get it twisted. The Caliente girls are nowhere near poor and they don't mind working for their money. However, they believe teamwork is dream work. No matter what type of drama happens in between the family, it stays within the family and they keep their eyes on the prize. And speaking of that, I believe that is why that is Katrina's aspiration of having a successful lineage. She implemented those values into her daughters and she is very hopeful that they will continue to carry that torch in the duration of their lifetime. Next, I want to introduce you to the infamous Dina Caliente. She is in her early 20s. She aspires to be very wealthy and fortunate. She is a romantic, ambitious, materialistic girl. And as you can see from her outfits, this girl doesn't play around. <laughs> Dina is a social media influencer and she enjoys traveling and essentially living a soft life. She does plan to eventually move out and buy her own house. But until then, she's living her best soft girl life. Next, I'll introduce you all to Miss Nina Caliente. She is Dina's little sister. Dina is only a couple of years older than Nina. They're both in their early 20s. Nina is a romantic, athletic dancing machine. That girl likes to party, honey, okay? And she aspires to be a bodybuilder. Essentially, Nina is the very opposite of Dina. She's very chill. She's very pro-health. She likes to strive for a peaceful life, whereas Dina is a little bit more dramatic. And speaking of dramatics, trust and believe, we're going to hop into that in just a little bit. Last but not least, I am introducing you all to Mr. Don Lothario, aka the big dog in the Caliente household. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. But he is the only male living here though, which in its own leaves room for pure and utter chaos. Don is a self-assured, romantic, non-committal sim that unfortunately experienced both of his parents dying when he was young. So essentially he had to raise himself, but he did use the strength that his parents instilled into him to help him get through medical school. And now he is one of the youngest doctors in the entire Willow Creek. This lovely household was created by Shirley Sims. Please check the link in the description if you guys wanna download them. Now that I've introduced you to everybody, let's hop into the gameplay. Miss Nina loves to start every single morning with a luxurious jog through the beautiful suburbs of Willow Creek. She was born here, she was raised here, and the Caliente family has all of their origin blood from here. And Nina really can't see herself living anywhere else, so she just makes sure that she embraces the nature, the weather, and all of the kind souls that she does come across along the way during her morning jogs. She is running back towards the house. She ran for about a mile or so. And now we can go ahead and dive into the long awaited house tour. This is the Southern Manor that the Caliente family resides in. I'm sure everyone has it in their game, but we're gonna go do a house tour anyway. So this is the master bedroom. This is Katrina's room. She spends a lot of time in here. 
And this is the balcony area that they all have access to from their bedrooms. It's a beautiful summer day that we're here at their house, so it's the perfect time to show it. And as you can see, people are fishing and enjoying the vibes across the street. Now, this is the kitchen. As you can see, it's very traditional. Katrina hasn't made any renovations in the house since they moved in, but it is theirs at the end of the day. Katrina and her husband worked very hard so that they could purchase this home to raise their girls in. And luckily they are still able to enjoy it together. This part of the house is right upstairs that accesses that balcony that I showed you guys earlier. And here they play their games. They hop on the computer. They pretty much chill here. This is Don's room. And as you can see, it looks like a guy lives here. He has all of his exercise machinery in here. He has a stereo in here, his TV in here, and of course his bed and his accolades on the wall. Next, we have Nina's room, which is right next to Dawn's. It's very simple in here. She's really a plain Jane and she didn't want to do too much in her mom's house, which is why you don't see anything special in here. Next, we are in Dina's room. And as you can see, she loves blue too. You'll see blue all throughout her room. Her room is much bigger than Nina's because she's a glam girl, she needs space. She even has her own private balcony. But honestly, Dina's always out on the town, so she's never in here. But when she is home, she definitely loves her privacy. So just like Nina, Don makes sure that he gets his early morning workout in. He believes that the way you start your day is going to set the tone for your day. Don agreed to come live with the Calientes because he did just recently become a doctor and he does have a lot of student loans to pay. So while he's staying here, not only is he able to save money for his living expenses, he's also able to pay off his student loans a lot quicker. Plus, he definitely does have his eye on one of the Caliente sisters and I'll let you know which one in particular has his heartstrings. On occasion, Dina will come in Don's room to use his stereo because she just doesn't care and could care less about boundaries. And she gets that from her mom, Katrina. They have extremely outrageous outgoing personalities and they're always with the vibes. Katrina did have to raise Nina and Dina pretty much on her own. Unfortunately, her husband did pass around the time that Dina and Nina were eight and nine years old. Luckily, he did have a life insurance policy and he did leave behind a will. So Katrina had no issues obtaining his assets and she is a hard worker. She definitely doesn't play around with her money and she's always trying to think about what solutions work best, not only for her, but also her family because her biggest aspiration is to have a successful lineage. Now that she has successfully raised her daughters, she is open to love, but she's just not really sure what the dating scene would be like. So until then, she's focused on her family and her money. Miss Dina is a social media influencer. She constantly lives on her phone, but in her free time, she does play the piano. Her father used to play the piano with her when she was little, and whenever she misses him, she actually makes time to play it. And although Nina seems like she's superficial, which she is, she's still a sweetheart on the inside. Oddly enough, Katrina and Dina do not get along. However, Katrina and Nina are inseparable. Dina feels like her mother is much harder on her because she's the oldest and she thinks that Nina can get away with anything. And Dina, as of late, has just been tired of her mom getting on her case, trying to come up with different house rules. And lately, she's also been getting on her case about bringing guys home. And she told her mom, like, hey, I'm grown. I'm an adult. I live here, too. I pay bills here, too. I should be allowed to have company whenever I want to, whereas Katrina doesn't think that she should just have guys in and out of the house. But Nina and Dawn, as you can see, are trailing off to go do their own thing because they get tired of hearing Katrina and Dina argue. They will literally argue all day long. It's like true water and oil. And it is unfortunate that they don't get along better, but hopefully in the near future that they will because life's too short to be petty. Instead of watching Dina and Katrina fight all day long, Nina and Don are doing the opposite. They're very smitten with one another and they are hoping that Katrina hasn't taken notice of it, but given that she's a jealous and nosy Sim, trust me, she knows. And Nina is only concerned about her knowing just because 
She doesn't want her to try to kick Don out or even kick her out because she sees the crap that Dina has to go through with her. And financially, she's not ready to go live on her own. But time will tell with this household. Thank you all so much for watching my video. If you all want to see more of this household, please let me know and I am more than happy to create more videos surrounding their lives. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.